Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make stylized ice shader in Blender. But first make sure to click the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. Now let's get into this tutorial. First of all open Blender. And I want this tutorial to be very simple and short. So as you can see this scene I have created you can download it from my discord server in the resources channel all links are in the description below. Once you have opened the scene, just simply split the window right here and go over to the shader editor. Now this is where all the magic happens. So select your cube, give it a new material, name it ice shader. This is blank because we don't have any lights in our scene and we don't need them as well. So as you can see in the image, we have bright edges going here so let's make them so make a little space right here between the principal bsdf and the material output shift a add mix shader put it between both of them and shift a add emission plug the emission into the bottom socket of the mix shader then change the strength to 100 and change the color to this code as you can see you can follow along if you want and yeah then shift a add color ramp put it right here plug the color into the factor and then add a layer weight plug the facing into the factor and change the value to 0 0.08 of the layer weight blend and now change the color ramp from linear to beast line and put it just right here. Like so as you can see we have bright edges and dark inside. Let's add some roughness like this one as you can see. So shift A add noise texture and then add a color ramp plug the color ramp into the roughness of the principal bsdf and the color into the factor of the color ramp and then if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled under preferences under add-on section type in node and you can see the node wrangler make sure it's checked and save preferences Noise texture selected, press Ctrl T is going to add mapping and texture coordinate. Now move them a little bit away somewhere around here and change the roughness of the noise texture to somewhere around here. Perfect. And crank it inside just like this. And as you can see we have a beautiful roughness going on. That's what we want. Now we are going to add this amazing grunge type and these blocks right here to make it kind of look more amazing. So shift A add bump. Plug the bump into the normal of the principal BSDF and then shift A add a musgrave. Plug the height into the height of the bump and it's way too much so change the strength to 0.1 instead of 1 and detail to 16 scale to 1 and that's all we need for now and we are also going to connect the mapping vector into the vector of the musgrave once it's done then shift D to duplicate the bump and plug the normal into the normal change the strength to 1 again and then add color ramp plug the color into the height and add a Roni texture add the distance to the factor and change it to distance to edge make it scale 
2.5 and 4D as well so we can have a little bit of plate 0.4 with W and change this white value crank this backwards to the black one 0 0.004 will be fine and plug that vector into the vector of it as well and finally we are going to create some coloring so as you can see it's blue from inside and sky blue from outside so let's create that shift a add color ramp color ramp is amazing note i always use this one now make it closer to the white right here and make the white closer to the black just away right here change the black color to the emission color that we have before so I'm gonna paste that in and change the white to this color which is the code right here you can copy it if you want and now add a mix RGB plug it right here Put the color into the first color of the mix RGB and color into the base color of the principal BSDF. And now you can kind of see what's going on. Increase the whiteness and factor to 0.4. And yeah, make sure to change the scale to 3 from the Musgrave. Yeah, that's all for this ice shader. Now we are going to shade the floor of this right here, floor, plane. Go into the camera view by pressing numpad 0 on your keyboard. Select your plane, give it a new material, name it Riff, Refraction. Make it metallic, shift A, add color ramp. Plug the color into the roughness, shift A, add noise texture, plug the factor into the factor and then Ctrl T by selecting your noise texture is going to add mapping and texture coordinate, change it to object coordinates and once it's done, detail all the way to 16 scale to 1 and put it somewhere around here like so and as you can see it looks beautiful and give the same material to the second plane as well so like this now it looks amazing beautiful sci-fi and final thing we are going to do is head over to the compositing tab and we don't need to render this out we just have to add a glare node shift a add glare change it to fog low threshold to 0.6 and mix to 0.1 and that's all we need and once you've done that you can see it looks amazing And we are using cycles by the way because the glass shader transmission doesn't work in EV. So we have to use cycles and find the output settings whatever you want. I will go with 4K, 250 samples, viewport optics denoiser and render optics denoiser as well. Under the color it's fine just save the project after that save and render image so that's how you create a beautiful stylized ice shader in blender if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button 
and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.